Hi, preschool friends. Well, you notice this isn't the incubator, but I've been very busy day 12 and day 13 checking on the chicks in the incubator and everything looks good. The humidity's good. I added some water to the channels one time and um, have just been watching them rock back and forth. So they're all real good. But I've been out in my garage day 12 and day 13 building a little um, old kind of a what do you want to call a chicken run it's not really a chicken coop where they'll they will live but it's a place for them to play when they start to get a little bit bigger so after they're born they'll be in a tiny cage in my house for a very short time and then they'll come out here and um play in here and they'll they'll be all kinds of um some soft things that they can scratch around in in here and papers in there that they can scratch around with. And you'll see what I'm doing is I took some wood and I had to use a saw and some drills and screws and I'm building the chicken run. And I'm putting right now, I'm using the stapler right there. It's a great big giant stapler and I'm putting the all the wire all the way around. And this is where they will stay in my garage when they get a little bit bigger until they go to the farm. So after they're born, they'll be in my house in a tiny cage. Then they'll come out here in this big cage and then they'll go to a farm to live, all right? It's not really a cage, it's just a place I'll have for them to play. I also have a little kitty swimming pool that they'll play in. Now they don't swim, but I don't put any water in it or anything, but they will just get in there so that they can run around and play with each other. So I have it set up so that after I get it all the chicken wire all the way around and they're big enough to play in here, um, I have a place where they'll hook up to their heater. So don't worry, they'll still be warm. They'll have a food and water container in there. And then I have these rollers here that I will put underneath of it so that I can roll it outside into the sunshine for them. I also, they like to kind of be protected and hide. So I'm going to take some of this black screen like this, and I'm gonna also put that over the top for them too. So once I get it all done, you'll get to see everything done. And if we're lucky and the weather cooperates and people are healthy, when I have them outside out in my front yard, and people and kids can come by and look at them, you could maybe talk mom and dad into driving by and see if they're, they're out and about, okay? And you could get out and you could touch them and you could hold them as long as mom and dad bring some hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer and some hand wipes to wash you up when you get done playing with them. And that's only if we have some nice weather and we can get that all coordinated, okay? And that would just be before they would go to the farm now, I also, if, if we're able to do that, you won't be able to see me. I could maybe wave from my garage door or wave from my porch, but I still can't be around any people or kids because I can't get sick, So, and I don't want you sick either. All right, so we'll just have to wait and see if that works out. That would be fun. And I also have a little thing over here that I'll put in there. It's got wires on it too and it is just something for them to stand on because they like to get up on things. They like to roost. They like to get up on top of things and we call that they like to roost on things. Okay, so when I get it all together, I'll show it to you, but that's what I've been doing day 12 and day 13, working in my garage, getting their little chicken run ready. And um, Mrs. Hart, you know Mrs. Hart, our nurse at school, she's gonna bring over um, all the things that she has because remember, she's the one that helps me all the time. She helps me every year with, with baby chicks. So she's gonna bring the things from her farm over here and then when they get big enough, we'll take all the chicks back to her farm. Okay, well, that's what I've been doing. I gotta keep working now. Have a great day, bye now.